Welcome back to Forecast Earth. I'm Natalie Allen. As we look at the challenges we face due to our treatment of our natural surroundings, near the top of the list is waste. On average, each of us produces about 33 pounds of trash each week, and that adds up to nearly a ton per person each year. Multiply that by a U.S. population of about 300 million, and that's a whole lot of garbage. Where does it all go, and what can we do to reduce the amount of trash we generate? With the answers, our outdoors expert, Dr. Marcus Erickson. What a mess. This is Puente Hills Landfill, just outside Los Angeles. Hi, Dr. Marcus here, and yes, I'm knee deep in trash. Puente Hills is the largest operating landfill in the United States. Every day, 13,000 tons of trash are buried here. That's equal to about a football field size block that's 20 feet high being created every 24 hours. The sad part is, much of what has been dumped could have been salvaged or reused. Take a look at what people have tossed out. Glass, metals, plastic. A third of all waste is paper products, which could easily be recycled. Or take these plastic bags. Americans consume more than 500 billion of these every year. Only 4% get recycled. Now, plastics are made from petroleum products. They never biodegrade. A huge problem facing landfills is toxic waste from electronic devices. These can leak lead, mercury, and other poisonous chemicals. If not properly disposed, they seep into the ground and contaminate our drinking water. There are over 750 million used cell phones in the United States alone. And the discard pile grows by over 2 million phones every week. At 400 acres, this landfill is not enough. At the current rate of dumping, this site will close in only five years. The challenge with handling waste isn't just a matter of space. As the buried garbage decomposes, it produces gases, including methane. Methane is the second biggest man-made contributor to global warming behind carbon dioxide, and landfills are the largest source of methane emissions in the U.S. There is, however, one potential upside that landfills like Puente Hills are tapping. These pipes are taking methane gas produced by the decomposing garbage and running it to power plants where they use that methane to make electricity. But despite all these efforts, the amount of trash we produce is only expected to increase. The best first step to help turn this around is to reduce what we consume every day. Bring your own cloth bag to the store and your own refillable cup. This will help reduce plastic pollution. And when it's time to upgrade your TV or computer, don't throw it out. Take the old model to a center that collects them for plastics and metal salvaging. There are programs to take your obsolete phone and give it to families in need. So next time you go to throw something away, just think about where it's going. So just which country generates the most trash each year, filling up the landfills the quickest? Do you think it's China, the United States, India, or Brazil? So just which is the top trash producing country? The United States contributes more garbage to landfills than any other nation, close to 300 million tons a year. In other words, we Americans who make up about 5% of the world's population contribute about 40% of the planet's waste. Earlier in our show on environmental challenges, we talked about how drought and diminishing water resources pose a threat to our future. Certainly no stranger to a limited water supply is Death Valley, where the average rainfall is less than two inches a year. Still, the California town is the site of some spectacular images, and we leave you with some of those pictures now. I'm Natalie Allen for all of us at Forecast Earth. Thanks for watching.